<laughs> so Zay and I are headed to get some bricks. We're working on our lot, making it nice again. We're going to be here through the summer, so we decided we'd work on the little lot that we're staying at and make it all spring-like with flowers and stuff. We have to get a wagon and bring those bricks over because we're going to do a little framing out of the garden beds. I'm excited. I'm Juby and this is Justin, and me our sweet nugget, Azalea. We've been living in our self-converted school bus since 2018, and after a year and a half of building our home, we've finally hit the road. Join us for the ride as we continue our adventures in our big red pepper. Bring. Break. <laughs> Welcome to the tool shed. Monumental folks, we're getting out of the swamp. At least one small portion is for now. So since to get to and from our cause is ridiculously swampy as per everywhere else in <laughs> this little piece of property, we chopped up some wood cookies and make like a stepping stone walkway. So we have to add some mulch still, but at least we're out of the wetness that is like right outside of our corridors. Um, and we just put some wood underneath as well to sort of raise them up. Um, and then we'll put mulch over top as well as the wood underneath as well. So da 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 da. Brief interlude. I wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Nixit. Nixit is a more sustainable option for you and your monthly cycle. So men, look away if you do not want to keep watching about this ad. But what I love is that it's this silicone disc and it's definitely a different fit and a different feel for someone who's coming from a cup, a tampon even. With Nixit, what's great is that you can put this disc in and keep it in all day. Not worry about leaks. Just go about your day, whether it's physical activities, getting out in the Gordon and hanging out with Azalea, uh, running around and being active, doing yoga. I'm able to wear the Nixit and not worry about any leaks or worry about changing it all throughout the day. So it's a really great sustainable option and it's reusable for up to five years. If you are interested in trying out a Nixit, then you should be excited because they are offering a 15% off discount on the bundle. So you can click the link below to have a stress-free and less wasteful period. A big thank you again for Nixit to sponsoring this video and um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of it. Ah, uh, let me just start by saying how absolutely stoked this family is to get to work today. This is the current state of our yard. As many of you know, we always joke about how we're in the swamp, but today is literally like a swamp like no other. 
All right, folks, so as Pops was saying, we're gonna do some Gordon work. He just got the uh, chainsaw sorted and ran off because he's excited to use it. And we are gonna bring the Jeep around and load it up with some bricks and start working on building our first new bed. It's quite exciting. Should we go? You can help me drive? Pops. Yeah, we're gonna go find Pops, let's go. Pops. Pops. Where's he? Cut. Is he cutting wood? Yeah. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, chicken. Yes. Putting brakes out here. You want one? Heavy. You want one? You got it? Yeah. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Oh, nice. For this mix of what we're putting in here, we're kind of using whatever we have, to be honest. So this is a mix of leaf litter that's been sitting around and decomposing for like a year, along with the remnants of our compost pile. So it'll be some really good, nice, healthy soil when we come to plant next spring. Mommy, mommy. You got it. Come see. Come see. Eddie. Are you digging? Oh yeah, crush it. We signed up for a lot this morning. We didn't even realize. We started working, our neighbor came out, decided he wanted to give us a hand, extend the bed over to his place so he could plant stuff. So I helped us start to lug leaf compost to put over there. So we got this huge bed over here now. And then Ben, the guy next door came over and was like, we should put in a French drain. drain all this water out. I was like, yeah, let's do that. So now all of a sudden we've dug a trench. We're putting in this hose. This has small slits in it so the water can drain in to the pipe and flow out of the property. So it's actually kind of exciting. I don't think it's gonna solve the whole issue of our property being super saturated, but it's gonna solve a little bit, that's for sure. And so we're gonna put this hose in, put some um, rocks on top of it to hold it down and then cover it back up with soil. So for that is to fill it in with the gravel and try to get it to uh, Cut across the driveway. Yeah. Say, say. Good. See if we can get this bobcat started. Ready, Zay? Yeah. See you in a minute. Have fun in the bobcat. If you take a look at our property, the high point in elevation is back in the corner behind the bus. And so, and it's, it's not high by much. A lot of the water is going to be coming down the hill this direction. With a lot of the puddling that was in the yard, you could even see when we built this bed, there was a 
huge amount of puddling that happened right in front of the bed. It was just kind of a natural place to put a drain in since it was building up there. See, we dug probably about six to eight inches into the ground. The water should flow and seep into this pipe. This pipe has little slits in it so that the water will go into the pipe and flow out to a different part of the property. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> and so this pipe goes all the way from there and goes underneath this gravel, which is a driveway. And if you come over here, you can actually see this trench that we dug was full of water um, before we connected it to this part here. And now you can see on the opposite side of this drain, you can see the water actually trailing out and going to this area. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> hey. 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 I'm no pro, so if I got it wrong, I'm sorry, but the, you know. get the basic idea. It's also not finished. Yeah, it's also that, too. <laughs> so we also, we need to fill it in with something like gravel. Um, we can't pack the clay back in there because water just doesn't go through clay nearly at all. So we need to put gravel around the pipe so that when the water comes in, it can go through the gravel, into the pipe, and out to Ben's lot. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> I'm thinking for like when the last frost is happening or coming and very like present in our lives, like early March time, we are going to be seeding everything with like wildflowers and hopefully all kinds of different perennials so that each year when, if we do come back, it will still be in bloom and growing and also for someone else to stay when we do leave. So hopefully we can get this place looking righteous. That was a much bigger work day than anticipated. Wow. But it's exciting. Stop, Stop talking. getting things done. Stop, yeah. Stop talking. What do you need? Oh, that's a sieve? Yeah. Break it. It's I'm breaking. excited. I think this is the way that January is going to go. Like November and December is such an eventful, holiday packed time of the year. Usually January is a time of just like personal time and projects. Getting back on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feeling accomplished and satisfied with your surroundings and like... It's unbelievable yeah. how much, how many projects you can just look around and see, you know. I know. We always want to make the space better too, so yeah. the projects could never end. Yeah, so. on the bus and out in the yard yeah. too. But I'm excited. I'm really, I, this was a lot of fun. This was a lot of fun. Even though like digging in the mud. In the was... mud, everybody's boots. This is my second pair of socks I got I through. Bet my so... toes are just like little baby <laughs> prunes right now. <laughs> yeah. Well we crushed it. Yeah. One of the things to remember too is that January, February are pretty much like the roughest times for this area. It's just sopping wet, nonstop. Dark and gloomy and the trees look dead and stuff like that. But man, like the time we put in now is gonna be I mean just so mind boggling when, yeah. when you see it in the spring. Because you throw seed in and then poof, oh, everything explodes. It's going to be great. I'm so, really excited. We'll have to show you guys when everything is in full bloom. Yes. Now, I guess the prescription for the rest of the day is... The prescription? Yeah, as in what we need for our bodies is... Popcorn and relaxation. What about a shower? Oh yeah, that'd be great actually. And all my clean clothes are now like a, a, what a normal week worth of dirt would be. I don't know why you wear your good clothes. These, I don't have any other clothes. I'm just kidding, I think it's a joke. That's your pain. <laughs> Another thing that was really cool to see today was just the community to come together. Yeah, um, super spontaneously. Yeah, and them just be like into it, even though it's completely disgusting outside. Um, that was <laughs> really, really awesome. Do. So, to Ben and to Tyler, we appreciate yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Never would have been able to accomplish what we did today. Hey Chicky. Anyways, we hope you're having a wonderful January and, <coughs> and here's a chicken. Hey chicken. Hey chicken. Hey chicken. Hey, yeah, we hope you have a wonderful January and thank you for joining us mm -hmm. on this swamp work day. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess we'll catch you next time. Next time. Stay warm and Fill your bellies with chocolate and hot cocoa. <laughs> <laughs>